today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to make jelly plate prints and then how you can transform these into Christmas cards. So this is a jelly plate and I'm attaching, applying some acrylic paint to the plate. I'm just using a couple of different yellows here which I'm then going to spread out with a roller. So you're aiming for a nice even layer of paint across your plate here. Now for the fun bit, adding different textures before you print. So I'm using kitchen roll here just to take a bit of the paint off the plate before adding my paper to print onto. I've just got standard uh, computer printing paper here. You can use all sorts of paper. And I'm just applying a second layer over the top to protect my hands from getting ink on them. So that's my first print. And now obviously I've got ink still on my roller, so I'm going to use that not waste it and then I'm just going to have a play with a variety of materials from around the home. So this is a packaging envelope that goes with the post which has got bubble wrap on the inside. I love circles so I'm not going to waste that bubble wrap. There we go, there's the bubble wrap print. One of the things that I love about jelly plate printing is that every print is unique and uh, has elements of surprise about it. So even if you think you know what you're gonna get, you don't always get quite what you're thinking of. So you can build up layers. So that's gonna be my base layer of this particular print. And then I'm adding a different color over the top. And I'm hoping some of the yellow will be shown through when it prints. So one of my favourite textures is created by putting a plastic bag over the plate first before you print. I just love the random crinkled shapes it makes. So I'm just using standard paper but you could use old notebooks, uh, sheet music, old, old books, maps, you could use anything as your base fabric. Uh, base paper as long as it absorbs the acrylic ink so I've got a cotton reel here and a cork I love circles as I said so I'm creating circular shapes these items are removing a little bit of the ink from the plate so when you print that will be a pain out in the design. There you go. I love the fact that the green paint isn't an even colour and it has some texture in itself. So yeah, I'm using the end of batteries because they're also circular and just having a play. Bear in mind your acrylic ink will dry relatively quickly so you don't want to spend too long adding different textural shapes to your plate because you don't want your acrylic to dry on your jelly plate. Here we go. Now, if you don't like some of your designs, don't worry about it because when we come to collaging them together for your Christmas cards, you won't see so much of each individual print. It depends on what you design you go for, of course, but I'm just taking off the residual ink here and getting a very light print. here I'm just playing with the ends of the acrylic paint so the tube ends and just press them onto the plate to create random lines across the plate now 
And here's some different designs, different colours. I've gone for lots and lots of different colours so that I've got lots of options for making my cards from. So I'm going to show you uh, making my bauble design and then at the end of the video I'll show you a variety of other cards I've made. So first up I'm going to layer two of the different purple prints together onto a base paper and use that to cut a bauble shape from. I love hand stitching so lots of my designs I've got an element of hand stitching in them, but obviously you don't need to do that at all. It's totally up to you. You might be somebody who loves calligraphy and is going to add a lot of text below your Christmas cards. Or on your Christmas cards, I should say. I'm just using a standing glue stick here. So that's going to be the base for some bauble shapes uh, I'm just going to fold my Christmas card in half and then look at what background I can use on it so I also printed quite a lot on to tracing paper because I love tracing paper and that sort of gives a semi-transparent see-through effect so I'm going to rip some of that up and use it as a base layer for my Christmas card. I've got this tracing paper in a charity shop or thrift shop as Americans would say uh, and it came on a roll hence the fact it's so curly. So when I've glued that on I'm just going to set it under a heavy book to dry just so it doesn't peel off whilst it adheres. So that's my base layer for my card going on now. As I say I'll set that aside to dry. And think about the proportion of the bauble in relation to the card. So I'm just going to use a circular object and wrap them around the home to draw around as a template for the bauble. So there's my bauble shape, rough shape. I'm going to add some hand stitching to that. Then the word season's greetings at the bottom of the card and a little hanging uh, shape at the top of the bauble to finish the card off. But first off, I'm going to add some hand stitching. So thread your needle with three strands of embroidery floss. Tie a knot and come through from the back so you have your knot on the back of the bauble shape. I just got myself in a bit of a few knots there by accident. Anyway, that's sorted. So basically I'm doing a vertical, then a horizontal running stitch, simple stitch, and then two diagonal across the top to create a very simple star shape. And I'm going to do that randomly across the bottom half of the bauble. And I've chosen a thread that picks up some of the colours on the top half. And I'm just going to repeat that regularly. I was getting my thread in knots <laughs> across the bottom of the bauble. Once that's done, I'm going to glue it to the card and then stitch round the edge of the bauble with a white thread just to add a bit of emphasis and my words. And the cards made. So let me show you a few cards I've made. These are simple triangles 
cut out um, and some bauble shapes added from different prints. This is my favourite. I love the background of this particular tree. The baubles are cut out of uh, tracing paper. This is two different tracing papers with a background and a star embroidered at the top. There's my finished bauble card. I'm not particularly good at calligraphy, so I only did one. This is a collage of different yellow papers and then I machine uh, hand stitched into it. This is a collage of different green prints that I've cut into a triangular shape. And this is a simple plastic bag print and then I've machine stitched around the triangles of the trees. If you enjoyed this video and like the inspiration, don't forget to click like and subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching.